What's up guys? This is Tom with Stocked Up and I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your trading week. I will say the SPY had a very nice breakout this morning and we actually saw a ton of stocks flying to the upside, kind of like Snapchat, Enphase and other stocks like that were straight up exploding this morning. Even a lot of big tech stocks like if you look at Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, AMD. I mean, early on, all of these stocks in the tech sector were flying up and looking at the heat map ended up being a very mixed day overall. And a lot of these stocks that were running ended up kind of falling off down into the red as I think that there's a little bit of fear creeping in with Powell's testimony that is coming up. So stick with us, guys. We're going to be going over Snapchat's price action and some of that news there. We're also going to be going over Powell's testimony and some earnings coming up this week as well. So we have a lot of stuff on the plate, but let's get right into it. I think the first thing that everybody wants to hear about is Powell's testimony. But before we get into that, guys, please smash that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys always following along with the videos and stuff like that. And also let me know your favorite stock in the comments down below for this week. There's a whole bunch on the earnings calendar and there's going to be a lot of opportunities with this Powell testimony coming up. But that S that S&P 500 is going to go insane. So if we actually go over to the economic calendar, he's going to be testifying tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So be very prepared at 10 a.m. Eastern. It's just a little bit after the market opens. Uh, guys, it's going to be a very big event. He's going to be questioned by Congress, and there's going to be just a whole bunch on his plate that he needs to reiterate. And the big thing that he's going to be trying to do is he's going to be trying to pretty much say that he wants to stabilize inflation without hurting the overall economy too much. So they're trying to bring inflation down without hurting the economy, obviously, too badly. And obviously, it's actually been going pretty well right now. If we look at the inflation rate chart year over year here with some of these numbers uh, monthly here. You can see on the last report, we came in at 6.4%, but in 2022, we were at highs of 9.1%. So we have been seeing a pretty steady decrease here. And there's actually some Fed members kind of saying that the decrease isn't coming quick enough. You can see that last reading only came in at 6.4% versus 6.5%, the reading before that. So that means that inflation was falling at a pretty rapid pace. Now it's not falling at quite the pace people were seeing. And we saw PCE data come out that kind of showed that inflation was staying a little bit hotter as well over the past couple of weeks. So this is going to be very important with Powell testifying tomorrow. Um, it's going to be obviously a two-day event, Tuesday and Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern time on both days. So just keep this on the radar. It's going to be the big thing that everybody has been talking about, but he's going to be questioned by a bunch of different members of the House Financial Committees and, and stuff like that. So just uh, just be ready. It's going to be some crazy stuff. And I think he's going to just stick with the status quo. You know, he's been pretty uh, steady so far. He pretty much just reiterates the same stuff over and over. And I think if they ask him any crazy questions, he might actually try to dodge them. So keep that in mind. But let me know in the comments how you guys might feel about Powell. I think that it'll be obviously a very uh, crazy day for the spy tomorrow nonetheless and let's actually go over maybe some of the price action here with the spy because we can see that down here at the bottom we're still holding up above four hundred dollars in a big way and today's price action was pretty crazy you know we had a huge move up at open ran all the way up to resistance around 407.40 to 407.50 and you can see we had a triple top up there that was actually a pretty stiff rejection at that level we ran all the way down to support around 404. Everybody in Discord was talking about this. If you guys are not in the Discord, please check out the link down below. I think you guys would really enjoy joining up on the Discord there. Man, it is very fun in there. We see so many awesome trades and just a lot of awesome talk. You know, we even went over an awesome stock, Soundhound today, S O U N, which has earnings coming up later this week. It's pretty awesome. But getting back to the spy, that is a big support at 404. If we start to fall below that level tomorrow, as Powell's speaking, or even before it, it could spell, you know, for some downwards price action, at least in the short term there. I think that we could possibly come down and retest 403 and maybe even 402 to 400 if the drop is big enough. I will be watching that $400 resistance, especially 
with Paul's testimony. That's that's obviously going to be the uh, the big thing coming up. But you know, it was a crazy day for this spy. We had a lot of crazy price action overall, and there's some big earnings coming out tomorrow. So be ready for C Limited early in the morning, along with Dick's Sporting Goods. Those are two pretty big companies. I love Dick's. You know, they sell a lot of golf equipment. Shout out to all my golfers out there. And you know, I just I love sports in general. You know, I used to be a baseball player and stuff like that. So. Uh, you know, I always enjoy seeing Dick's reporting and doing well. Uh, C Limited is a very fun stock. If we actually go check out their stock really quick, they had a pretty crazy morning. You know, they dipped off, they came right back up, and they're kind of holding strong. And if you go to that daily, it's pretty nice to see them starting to bounce off some major supports and move up. Maybe we'll start to see a bit of like an earnings move here and then a nice continuation if they get a positive report. CrowdStrike and then SoundHound report in after hours. So be ready for that. Uh, Campbell's Soup on Wednesday, DocuSign and Oracle in after hours Thursday. So it is a little bit slow week. Uh, it is a little bit slow of a week for these earnings, but overall, I think it's still a pretty good week. So let me know your favorite earnings in the comments. I know some people were looking to play uh, C Limited tomorrow morning. I actually eyed it up a little bit too, but I didn't, I didn't pull the trigger on this one. I pulled the trigger on Kroger last week though. And that one paid off pretty well. But you know, talking about earnings and all these stocks having crazy moves, I will say Snapchat really stole the show today. We can see here they were up 9.4%. And they were up a heck of a lot higher than that whenever they were at those intraday highs. And if we go to that five-minute chart, it's just kind of insane to see how much price action they had there at open. And just over the past few days, how they've been rising up as much as they are. And I think that this is actually going to be a huge thing here for a lot of these tech stocks, whether it's Snapchat or Pinterest. This might even help Meta with Instagram Reels a little bit as well. But the big thing going on right now, pushing Snapchat stock higher, is there was actually something passed that's giving President Biden the power to ban TikTok in the United States. The U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee voted to grant Joe Biden power to ban TikTok in the U.S., that is actually some pretty crazy news. I know that this was actually talked about a lot while Trump was president as well. And I think he talked about like selling it or something like that back in the day. But right now, the big thing is that Biden has this power now, apparently, and this was passed by the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And it looks like Democratic Senator Mark Warner is planning on introducing a bill to ban or prohibit foreign technology sometime this week. So this could actually be pretty big and we could see multiple companies benefit from this, whether it's Snapchat or Google or Meta. I mean, we're talking about just a ton of opportunities here from these stocks that imitate kind of what TikTok does, which is those short videos. So Snapchat, there's short videos on there. You have Meta with the, uh, I guess you would call it Facebook Reels or Instagram Reels. So those are pretty big as well. You have Google with the YouTube Shorts. So I don't know. I think that there's a lot of opportunity here for these stocks going forward over the next couple weeks. And I think Snapchat could maybe be a pretty big, I guess, uh, gainer in this scenario. And if you look at Snapchat stock, they have a ton of room to the upside. And they've been bouncing off a major support around nine to ten dollars over the past couple weeks. And I, I will say nine dollars and fifty cents seems to be pretty strong down here at that low so it's just it's going to be a huge week for snapchat especially if there's more news of these bands going through and like i said this can help other stocks too like meta google um and just plenty other ones you know meta google pinterest was another one that had a lot of uh price action up today as well uh they even said 10 cent like tcehy could possibly benefit you can see they're actually falling off a little bit as well for anybody who doesn't know, though, Snapchat is actually owned by, uh, or I should say TikTok is owned by ByteDance. So keep that in mind if you're, uh, you know, looking into this at all. They're owned by ByteDance. This is actually a really nice article by Benzinga. I'll post this in the comments if you guys want to check this out. I think Snapchat could be a pretty awesome stock for the next few weeks. And it's finally time for our momentum plays, guys. And with the first momentum play today, we're actually going to do UVXY. I think that this stock could be really awesome over the next couple days with Powell doing these testimonies. And I think that, you know, as we start to 
get through some of these events and we start to digest the SPY's price action, if we start to see the SPY dip under 404 tomorrow and head towards 402 and possibly even 400, the UVXY should start to get a ton of volatility back to the upside. And I'm still watching the VIX, guys. If we go out to the daily chart on VIX, it's kind of testing our lower trend line here once again. And one thing that I'm very worried about over the next couple days is Powell potentially talking about something about raising interest rates by 50 basis points. Inflation's obviously not falling at the pace people were hoping for. And we've been seeing a lot of Fed members talk about the potential of 50 basis points. Like, uh, like the St. Louis Fed president, James Bullard. He actually came out and said that he's kind of in support of this now. Now, I know somebody came out, Bostic came out and said they actually are leaning towards 25 basis points, but it, it, it's interesting. You know, the feds are kind of split right now. And on the CME Fed Watch tool, they're, it's kind of like leaning at, you know towards being a split. It looks like 30.6% is the chance towards 50 basis points now. That, that That's actually pretty high. There's a 69.4% chance of 25 basis points, according to this tool. So I don't know, 30.6% sounds pretty big towards 50 basis points in my eyes. And I feel like we've been getting a lot of hints at this lately with everything going on with Bullard and other people talking about it. Now, I know Bostic came out and kind of went more towards 25 uh, on Friday, I believe. But still, it's going to be a pretty crazy next couple of days. And like, like I said, the Fed members are kind of mixed here. So I don't know. Powell's going to make a big impact tomorrow, but UVXY should be a pretty awesome momentum play there. So with my second momentum play of the day, we're going to go with good old Asana. We've talked about this one a lot. Unfortunately, it just keeps going lower and lower. You know, we've seen Moskovitz put billions of dollars into this stock, but it's just insane. It just keeps falling down. Obviously, he's looking at it in the long term. Right now, it looks like it's bouncing off that $14.40 support, starting to rip up through $17, and we're actually approaching $18. So I really like this one for the next couple of days. I thought it held higher than most stocks did today. It did pull back a little bit, but man, this momentum on this is just insane right now. But so we actually just went through some of my plays here. Let's go through the momentum plays for tomorrow. Um, with the first one, we're actually going to go over good old Snapchat from today. How could we not have this as a momentum play? Go ahead and make them break up through $12.20 of the upside. I think if we break up through there tomorrow, we could catch some pretty good momentum. But obviously, be a little bit careful. If we start to reject off this level back down, you know, and Powell sends us lower, it might not be a good idea to play some calls. So make it break out above $12.20 on Snapchat. With the second one, we're looking at end phase here. Pretty awesome play. Another big extension up this morning. Make them break up through $230.40. Also very close to the high of day. They had pretty much a triple top right at 230. So definitely watch end phase for a breakout as well. And with the final momentum play, we're going with Coca-Cola. It's a bit slower of a stock than we're probably used to here on the momentum plays. But if you look at that daily chart, it's been popping up in a pretty big way. So if we could break above $60.50, I like KO to the upside. And you guys can see how $60.50 has been a huge, huge level of resistance here over the past couple of weeks. So if we get that breakout, definitely watch KO. And don't forget about Snapchat and Enphase with the other momentum plays here um, as well. But all right, Mike's not here, obviously, guys, but it's time to get into his favorite part of the video, actually, which is the unusual options plays. And with the with the play today, we're going with charge point. I saw somebody put $1.595 million into the $11.50 strike calls here on this stock. I mean, this is an insane play to the upside here. I don't know what to think about this stock. You know, charge point has been falling down a lot this year. This strike is very interesting at $11.50. And looking at the stock, that's actually a pretty big resistance there at $11.50. And what I do like about this stock is that they had that big drop with earnings and they recovered right back up, which I thought was very nice. And they're also holding some key supports here around $10.30 to $10.50. That's a pretty big area. As long as they hold this, I kind of like this play 
for the next few days as a pretty good swing. And they do have this as kind of a shorter term play here. Obviously, this one's going to expire in the next couple weeks. So I like this play to the upside. And I hope that, you know, if, if we get a nice pop up in the morning with ChargePoint and multiple other growth stocks, I think there will be a very nice opportunity on this play. But I know there was a lot of stuff in tonight's video, guys. One of the big things to reiterate, though, is Powell's testimony. Obviously, that's going to be insane at 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning. And I just didn't want to forget our member of the day here today, Juicy Mango. Thank you for being so active in the Discord. I really appreciate you joining up and, you know, asking uh, how everyone's doing. And obviously, he's making it a better community overall. So thank you, Juicy Mango. Hopefully, we see you in there a little bit more over the next few weeks as well. And I'll tell you, tomorrow's going to be crazy. So guys, if you want to check out the Discord, check out the link down below. You can get access uh, to the Discord, obviously. There's also unusual options plays posted in there, free sniper bot plays, and tons of opportunities as the day progresses in there for plays all around. There's a lot of members in there talking about awesome plays all day long. So join up. I don't think you guys will be disappointed at all, but it's going to be a crazy week between the earnings between Powell's testimony over the next couple days and everything like that. The heat map was very mixed here today. If you guys enjoyed tonight's video, please smash that like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Obviously, the Discord's an awesome place, so check that out. I'm really hoping that we can get some positive price action tomorrow, but I will say that SPY seems pretty overextended in the short term, and Powell's going to have to wow us with some pretty positive statements to get us up, I think. So, I don't know. Let's see, guys. Is he going to lean towards 50 basis points? Is he even going to give us a hint at all? I don't know. I'm sure he's going to get grilled by some of these members of Congress as well for the inflation still being uh, pretty high. But we'll have to see what happens. Have a great rest of your night, guys, and I will talk to you guys later.